Welcome to this look at the new information and pictures, visuals, released today on the 6th of October regarding ground working features. Rocks and rolling, new ground working tools and textures in FS22. Come along with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, this is from the blog post. Um, I'll be adding my bits and bobs in with it. But it does say, we did some ground working in Farming Simulator 22. Not only does the soil, like other surfaces, appear more natural, but it says and plastic, thanks to parallax occlusion mapping. I'm not sure that's the correct word there. Um, there are also new ground working systems and a lot of new ground textures you can look forward to. New feature to the game, mulching. Now you'll say, well, we've already got mulching. Kind of. The mulchers we've got now are usually stump grinders, that kind of thing. Sometimes they have a plough attachment so you can kind of plough the ground in, in amongst forestry. Mulching, the revelation of domestic gardening through questionable overuse of bark chips. But backyards and home improvements are not what we're talking about here. Although the science is basically the same, mulching improves the soil and therefore the yield. In Farming Simulator 22, we use a mulcher attached to our tractor to cut and apply fresh grass to the surface of the soil when cultivating a grape or olive orchard, for example. After harvesting your crops, you can also mulch the stubble left on the field to improve the yield. So we've got some stubble, kind of stubble cultivation, I guess, in a way, but not using a cultivator, using a mulcher. So you're getting all that stubble shredded and spread across the ground, so that decomposes and kind of helps with all the stuff, you know. Um, because it's still important to many, you can also mulch to guarantee the visual appearance of your grape and olive orch orchards, as mulching makes everything on your vineyard look nice and clean too. So the mulcher, I think, within the vineyards is going to act a little bit like a mower, but it's going to spread the um, grass clippings around to, again, aid in that decomposition into the ground, adding nutrients and help, help with the yield. Um, also, there are bigger types of mulches in the forestry section. They even mulch bushes and tree stumps. Almost nothing will get in the way of mulching if you apply the correct machinery. Now, that's an interesting point that's kind of within the text there. Um, within the forestry section, now, like I said, mulchers previously, up until now, have been for stump grinding, that kind of thing. Now, it does say they even mulch bushes and tree stumps. Now that's something on a lot of maps, and I on FS19 people have always said it would be nice to be able to remove the, you know, especially on console, I know there are some mods and some maps are out that allow you to do that, to trim back hedges and that kind of thing. Um, but it looks like that's going to be something we're going to be able to do moving forward. New feature, stone picking. Now we kind of know about this from a few different other blogs that have come out. However, there's more information regarding this. Leaving the wonderful world of mulching, there's a hard reality lying dormant in the ground. Nice play on words. Stones. When cultivating or ploughing, stones can turn up on your field. Depending on what kind of cultivator you're using, the size of stones varies. Using a subsoiler, you will dig up some larger rocks compared to your shallower groundwork. Your soil lies in chaos now. Oh no. But what now? Now, again, interesting. The deeper you dig, the bigger the rocks you're going to be pulling up. Now that's interesting. The stone picker stuff we kind of knew about and we've seen information regarding the stone picker and it shows little piles of rocks here and there. But looking at the pictures that we're looking at now, if you have subsoiled and ploughed and that kind of thing, it's bringing up bigger rocks. If you're going to be doing more light surface stuff, a little bit of light cultivation, that kind of thing, you're going to get the smaller stones coming up out of the ground. That's a, that's a big change to the game. That is absolutely huge. When collecting stones with your stone picker, you can even make some additional money by selling them to the debris crusher. Get your revenge on those soil invaders and even get paid for it. Before you begin to sow your crops now, you should take care of the stones one way or another. You can also turn stones off if you like. So if the whole thought of that for you is a kind of one of those, I don't, I don't want another step that, that you might find a grind or a pain or whatever, it can be turned off. That's good to know. Um, leaving them on the field will damage your machines. Not only that, your problem will get worse. More and bigger stones will turn up. If you don't collect them, there's another method to get rid of them. At least the smaller ones. So if you've got bigger ones come up in the ground, you definitely need to remove them. But smaller ones, here comes another ground working mechanic into play that ties into stones. 
Yes, stones are the gift that keeps on giving. So there's a new feature, and that's soil rolling. Now, we've got rollers in game. Again, we've got them already, but this changes how they're used. So a lot more machinery that's kind of... The rollers, Cambridge rollers, those kind of things have been used as a kind of fertilising tool as it stands at the moment in game. Um, sometimes they've been used for taking back um, the, the ground to its original state, those kind of things. But now they have an actual purpose. If you pick large rocks out of the ground, you need to collect them. With smaller stones turning up after cultivating or ploughing, you can also use this spectacular looking ag agricultural tool called a roller and simply press them into the ground again. Yes, just roll over them. They had it coming, <laughs> threatening the well-being of your expensive machines. I mean, that to me seems a little bit like just kind of brushing stuff under the carpet, that kind of, yeah, just roll them back in, just hide them, just under the surface. They're still going to be there, but if you don't want to pick them all up, you can just roll them back into the ground. That's the small ones, not the bigger ones. Uh, rollers are uh, not just a tool to conceal the rocky consequences of cultivating or ploughing, though. After sowing your crops, you gain an additional yield bonus when rolling over flattening and compressing the seedbed. Considering the type of crop and field size, we're talking about a considerable amount of money. So it will improve yield as well. Very handy, because it is improving the, the, the seed bed, it is rolling it flat. Um, the, the Cambridge rollers kind of aerate the soil a bit more, break up the clumps and clods, that kind of thing, it does help. Um, there's also incentive to get your roll on when you're a grassland enthusiast, as rolling around on your meadows grants you a fertilizing stage, which is kind of what we've had now already. Mind that rolling over grass sets it back to the first growth stage. So you should roll over the grass when it's freshly cut and mowed. Ah, so we're going back to that again. Uh, FS17, we had it, didn't we? That if you drove over grass, it took it back to its original growth stage, unless you had, you know, uh, narrow, narrow tyres and stuff on. Then with 19, that was taken away again. So you could drive over the grass and it kind of acted like it just bent it down. But what they're saying here is you can get a, a, a fertilising state, but it will take your grass back a growth stage. So it's best off doing it straight after being cut. Uh, and then we've got to look at the new ground textures within the game. So top left, we've got stubble tillage. Then moving across the top row, we've got cultivated, seed bed, ploughed, rolled seed bed so you've got the seed bed that's prepped and ready for putting your, your, your seeding in but a rolled seed bed is where you've then gone over it pushed all the stones in I, again this may be a bit of an assumption here uh, rolled seed bed but also you've increased your yield on that as well you've got sown planted that's interesting uh, ridge which i assume is going to be when you do potatoes direct sown and i like the fact we've got these different ones here now so if you've cultivated you've cleared it you've prepared your seed bed and you bring your, your seed drill in or, or just your cedar if it's not a direct drill you have to prepare the seed bed first and you go but it looks there like you've got a direct sown texture so if you're going to do direct drilling you're not going to cultivate you're not going to disturb the land you're actually replanting re-sowing back into the debris that's left behind from the previous harvest and there's actually going to be a texture for that uh, there's an harvest ready harvest ready two grass and grass cut so interesting little look there at some new textures we're going to be having coming to the game uh, we revised basically all ground textures for farming simulator 22 you'll notice more visual diversity and when you're playing with some friends uh, invited to your farm via crossplay if you're going to be using crossplay you'll definitely notice if those slackers haven't rolled the seed bed as the texture looks different from the one where it's not don't let them, let them get away with lowering your yield well, there you go. Um, that's it for the blog for today, the 6th of October. Don't forget, you can still pre-order up until the 22nd of November. And if you pre-order, you get the class Zerion Saddle Track Pack as a bonus. And also available is the year one season pass. Uh, again, I'm not sure. I don't think it's available yet on PlayStation. Or, yeah, PlayStation, I think. Um, Get new content on Farming Simulator 22 and save money on top of the price advantage of Season Pass. Compared to buying the content separately, you'll save even more if you pre-order. Some places are allowing pre-ordering of the Season Pass, some aren't. Um, and that's it from me. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do.
Thanks for watching.